What I look for when I plan the shoot is uh, it's that uh, strong bond that I always uh, have with my models. It's the connection. Uh, I want to bring out the character of the person. Uh, what I see uh, that's interesting in that person, I want to drag that out. That's what I want to show. That raw image, that intense, that uh, authentic feeling of that person. So it's always about the person. So I, I, I used to say that it's like three voices in a, in a frame, in a, in a photograph. It's, uh, the model is the first voice, I'm the second, and the third voice is who you are as a person and what you have with you of inner experiences and what you are able to bring out. To also like soothe the model, to comfort them, because they need to feel relaxed as well, because it will show on the camera if they are not in ease. The process, um, it's always start with the human, because uh, of course that's the most important, it's the, it's the human. So, they're the interesting. So when I find someone I really want to shoot, I just feel it, it starts. Um, the charisma, the character, it's the person I want to shoot. And from there, and I then know what clothing I want to use, which aesthetic I want to bring into the picture, uh, the simplicity, the coloring, like uh, the feel of it all. So it's just happened when I, when I find this character and then um, and, and also like uh, balancing color. I'm really, um, I love either like earthy tones or like really colorful, com complementing color together. Uh, at first, when I started to photograph, uh, light was not, uh, it was not planned that way, that I, I, I didn't want to use artificial light. It was just, it happened because it was much easier to, because you have light everywhere and uh, just bringing my camera and my lens was perfect. But then I also started to see how, how sensitive it was, the natural light outside, uh, and how beautiful. And I started to want to, to learn more about uh, light. Like, how does it look like in, uh, in winter time, and uh, soft light, and winter light, evening light. It's warm, and at different times during the day, so when I shoot now, I always know what type of uh, light I want in the frame for, for each uh, photo shoot. So the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of Hasselblad is just uh, its quality and perfection. Even, uh, even the camera itself, it's like an art piece when you look at it. I love that. And, uh, but foremost, it's the quality that it makes the skin just so natural and beautiful, it's soft, it's, uh, it's the whole system, it's perfect. Becoming a Hasselblad master um, has meant everything to me. It was at that point, uh, I actually was, uh, I became really proud of myself for achieving that goal. Not only the established name you have in the industry after becoming a Hasselblad master, People are taking you more serious and uh, opportunities was rising and it was easier approaching galleries. It was easier approaching things that I wanted for my photographs. Being uh, associated with this uh, amazing, unique brand is something that I'm so proud of. It's a, it's a really uh, lovely family, the Hasselblad family. Yeah, I'm very proud of being a master.